Hey, Fullness family. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, me and Molly are doing really well, and the girls, Jocelyn and Shay. Uh, we have been playing a lot and wrestling and uh, cooking tons of dinners at home. It's been pretty great, actually. We've, we've gotten to spend a lot of time with each other uh, that we've enjoyed. Um, but there's a lot of challenges that come with it as I'm sure a lot of you with, who are parents, uh, or if you're just by yourself right now, stuck at home, uh, you know the challenges. Uh, it's, it can be really hard to just um, stay sane at times. I guess that's the best way to put it. But uh, every day kind of starts pretty normal, and then about halfway through the day, it can got, kind of get a little more emotional. You know, we have two girls under the age of four, um, and so it just can get really emotional fighting each other, pushing each other, arguing, um, and it has really, in a lot of ways, kind of made me have to evaluate how I respond or react to these uh, things that happen. And um, so I, I was, I was just sitting in the bed with my wife, uh, Molly, last night, and I just kind of was contemplating the day, and we started to pray, and I just realized how reactive I have been, um, that I have really had a lot of outbursts of anger and frustration. Um, sometimes it felt really warranted. <laughs> it felt like uh, I have reason to, but um, at the same time, I just know that the heart of God is to be patient and kind and, uh, and that Jesus shows us that actually being gentle is uh, far more effective than any other format of correction. And uh, I wanted to read this proverb real quick. It says in Proverbs 15, 18, uh, in the ESV it says, A hot-tempered man stirs up strife, but he who is slow to anger quiets contention. It says in the New Living Translation, it says, a hot-tempered person starts fights, but a cool-tempered person stops them. Um, and to me, you know, being slow to anger is such a godly uh, um, virtue in life. And I, I hide it that I have this, like, boiling anger in me sometimes until it just comes out and there's nothing I can do about it and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Um, and uh, I've realized, uh, especially during this time when we're so closed in together and there's no escape <laughs> uh, in, in, in a lot of ways and we've got to just deal with issues together and walk through pr problems together. Um, I've realized that it's such a good thing to be gentle, even when you've got someone yelling at you, a child yelling at you, a spouse yelling at you, a parent yelling at you, um, to just be slow to anger and to walk in gentleness and kindness uh, towards them. Um, it can change, completely change the atmosphere. So I just, I speak that over you. Let me just pray over you right now. Just receive this. God, I pray for... Uh, the Fullness family, and anyone else is, who is watching this who has just had this stirred up anger in their souls, that they felt uneasy, they felt frustrated, um, they felt angry, um, Lord, and they just don't know what to do about it. Uh, they wake up with it every morning. Um, and this could be because of someone else. It could be because of our government. It could be because of the situation. It could be because they don't know where their money is, is going to come from to pay for their bills. Lord, there's so much that's just feeding into our anxiety and frustration and anger. And I pray, Lord, that you just speak into this congregation and to these people that uh, they would be slow to anger and steadfast in love like you are. Um, God, that we would not start fights, we would stop them with gentleness and kindness towards each other. And I just speak that over every family, that Lord, any quarrel, anything that's rising up, I just pray, Lord, that they would seek you and that your spirit would be near and bring peace. We love you, Jesus. We thank you that you work in this way. 
uh, and we pray that you would in your name. Amen. All right, see you guys soon.